My passion for photography has actually never been stronger than it is today. And, and it's 35 years that I've been making pictures, that I've been involved in visual storytelling. Most of what I know about the world has come through, through this medium, through practicing it, through, through learning about it, through, through teaching it to others. I've often said that photography is sort of like a condition that you catch and, and I caught it when I was 18 years old within about three months of learning about photography and I would say that today, 35 years later, that condition has never been more severe. My practice has always been predicated on international work, mostly geopolitical work, cultural work, but I've also done probably the largest project of my career, Aging in America, was a, obviously a domestic project. I spent eight years on that, and actually even since that project was completed in 2002, I've continued to look at the issue of aging, more so through film and multimedia. And as time goes on, and this is kind of connected to the question about my passion for photography, I feel like my repertoire for the kinds of stories that I want to do, the kinds of issues that I'm interested in, are actually expanding. They're not narrowing. So I'm much more open to working on stories that in the past I might have considered, you know, soft or, or irrelevant. So for instance, this project I worked on last year on the drought for The New Yorker, that's, that's, that's emblematic of the kinds of stories that I'd love to do more of. I've always been interested in America. In fact, I think America is still such an untapped source of great stories. And I'm not talking about stories that's just about sex and violence and subculture and kind of the quirky, weird Americana that particularly Europeans and the European press seem to like. You know, I'm talking about America that is grinding out a lot of the critical issues that humanity is facing today. Social issues, political issues, resource issues, you know, climate change, um, you know, how to, how to deal with an with, an, with a permanent underclass, homelessness. There's so many issues in America that are critically important to look at. 